Hello everyone, this is Manish from Domsky and in this video we will see how to get app ID in Power Automate. In our last video, we learned how to generate a dynamic URL of a case entity when case is resolved and send that particular URL in an email body. But in the last video, we skipped app ID to be added in our dynamic URL because out of the box, there is no way to get the app ID in Power Automate. And we have to configure in something in CRM so we can fetch that app ID as desired as per the model driven app. It could be sales hub or customer service hub that we can get in Power Automate and place it under the dynamic URL. We will start with creating an entity which will be treated as configuration entity which will store the app ID for the model driven app. We can have n number of model driven app and the same we can store in our configuration entity. So we will name our configuration entity as org configuration. After creating the entity, we would be creating some fields. Uh, for the demo purpose, we will only create one field that would be app ID and the same app ID field value will be used in Power Automate for dynamic URL. So our app ID field is created. Now I will add model driven app onto the solution. To add this particular entity in both the model driven app that is sales hub and service hub. It depends on the, your requirement. Do you want this field to be visible on any of the model driven app or not? I have added the entity in my model driven app. Now uh, I will add some record onto this configuration. There would be only one record for me right now. That would be the sales app ID. I will name it as model driven app configuration and will set the sales hub ID over, over the field. Now we will jump to our previous Power Automate flow where we skipped our app ID in dynamic URL. We will select an action list record where we will select organization configuration as entity. We can add the select query as name and whatever field we want to include in our columns. We can have filter query as that the configuration name should be model driven app configuration or we can have a fetch XML. We can use the advanced file to get the fetch XML and use the same in our action list record. Adding the condition then download the fetch XML, copy and paste the same in Power Automate. Let me rename this action as get org config and this same action will be used in our dynamic URL. So in our case, uh, this list record would be returning only one record. So we won't be using the loop here. So we will use our favorite action that is compose to uh, validate what output we would be getting here. As list record action gives us multiple record and we don't want multiple record to be there in the in the Power Automate, we would be using an expression to get the first record we get on, uh, from the list record action. So we would be using the expression body and then the action output uh, with the index of zero. We have written the expression and we will we have our compose ready. This compose output we will use in initial variable selecting the value and in the dynamic content you will see the action output is available for the one where we set up the expression. We select output and now our dynamic URL is fully ready and we will save it. The same would be updated in the email. We don't have to you know work, around, work on the email part. We will test this section. Flow is running right now and uh, you can see it has ran successfully. If we go to the compose out, you will see the ID available here. Same we configured under our org uh, configuration. And if we go to in initialize variable, you will find the app ID is also mentioned there. So hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.